Hello everybody, it's Talia and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I decided to film my purple eyeshadow makeup look. Personally, I love how this eyeshadow turned out in this whole makeup. I like focus like on pastel purple. I only use one eyeshadow shade. Yes. Excited to show you guys how to create this makeup look, especially the eyeshadow. I love anything that is pastel purple. It's just really nice and great for this spring. That is pretty much it, guys. So let's just get started with the video and show you this makeup look. On camera, I did my eyebrows and I carved them, clean up a little bit. And I also set up my eyelid with concealer and powder. I'll link all the products down below, that way you guys know what products I'm using. I think I like to do is my eyeshadow. Shadow palette I'm going to be using is the Hip Dot palette. I'm really excited to use this purple shade right here. And that is the only color I'm going to use throughout this palette. I wanted to create a very stale purple eyeshadow kind of like a lilac um eyeshadow look it's so simple so easy to create especially the eyeshadow go ahead and go in with this wild river which is more like a purple shade a bit closer to the camera um but i'm going in with this anastasia beverly hills brush that I, comes with the palette and i'm using this type angle brush and with the wild river which is beautiful pastel purple I am just patting it all over the eyelid area. Grabbing of this um, Wild River shade. And I want to get this really nice purple shade. I really want it to stand out. So like I said, I'm just going in with this shade and patting it all over the eyelid. And I'm grabbing a little bit more product and then I'm just gonna like apply it down below of my lid. I am going in with my Morphe M518 brush. This is more like a fluffier brush. I'm just gonna go in with the Wild River and just dab in it all over the brush tap. I'm just gonna like blend the eyeshadow. Cause I want it to blend out just to get that really nice pastel shade. And then I like to go over above my brow, not too close, but like kind of in the middle and just blending that in. Middle of my crease and just blending that shade. Going back with the Anastasia brush, I'm gonna pat a little bit more of that purple shade, the eyeshadow to stand out. I'm just patting it a little bit more, my eyelid, kind of like that. Go ahead and blend this shade. So it just it won't have that really harsh line. the cleaner brush which is I'm taking this Anastasia brush and then I'm like cleaning up my eyeshadow I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side like smudge it to the inner to the outer I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Morphe, taking a little bit of that product and tap it and blend this eyeshadow. And I'm bringing it all the way to my brow, but just halfway though. I feel like this is very precise eyeshadow just because we're trying to achieve this really nice purple shade. You know, I am just applying more on the eyelid just because I really want this to stand out. 
And with the Anastasia, which is clean, I'm not grabbing any more product and I'm just blending that in. That's pretty much it for my eyeshadow. It's just very simple. All you do is blend, blend, blend. That is pretty much it. For primer, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Focusing on the areas where I need primer. Of course, around the here is where I need it. My nose, my chin, and I'll just apply it on the forehead as well. Go in with foundation. I'm going to be using my Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This one is the shade Creamy Vanilla 01. I used this foundation in so long, but it's pretty good. And applying it on my face. Equal Tool Sponge. I love this sponge so much and I want to thank my mom for buying me this sponge because it's just so soft. It doesn't feel like you're like punching yourself with the sponge, if you know what I mean. That really hard sponge and this one is just so soft. It's so great. Well, so I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime setting spray and I am just spraying this sponge just to have a little moist and easy to blend. Blend my foundation. And then I always like to drag it down to my neck because let's face it, it is like really difficult to find the right shade of the foundation and I could never get it right. Really nice glowy dewy foundation. Now that I apply my foundation, I am going in with my favorite chart, not chart, Tarte Shade Tape Concealer. This one is Fair Beige. I'm just applying it like the underneath my under eye basically like this and then bringing it to my my underneath eye find it like this that's pretty much it i'm gonna apply it like the tip of my nose and then up the bridge of my nose a little bit on the chin area and with the um Hula Benefit Contour Stick. I am just applying it on this area right here, underneath my lip, of my nose, and on my forehead area. The jawline, and around my nose, and I think that's pretty much it that I'm gonna do for contouring a little bit of the um la girl on top of the uh tart concealer this too so blend the concealer and i like to bring it upwards just so it can have a really lift to the eye sorry if i'm looking this way it's just I have my mirror and I need to know what I'm doing. Blending that. So I'm just taking a little bit of the um, MAC setting spray just so it can be easy to um, blend the creamy contour that I blend my concealer and my contour I'm going in with my airspun face loose powder I'm gonna go ahead and apply this my under eyes bring it into the nose the side of my nose just be thin 
go in with my Maybelline Fit Me um, pressed powder. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my rest of my face with this Real Technique Mini brush. I like to pat this all over my face just so it can last longer. My Hula Benefit Bronzer and I am just going to apply bronzer. I like to pat this and then bring it upwards. Bring a little bit to my forehead area just to have a little bronze. I'm back with the um, Airspun Loose Powder and I'm actually going to like line up my bronzer. Taking my Real Technique sponge and taking this side of the sponge and just lining that up. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit. I wanna go in with a very soft settle blush and I am going in with my Ulta Beauty Mineral Blush and this one is Pony. Just a little bit of that and just patting it all over my cheeks. And I like to drag it upwards. Powder underneath my eyes. And then around my nose. I'm going back with my MAC Prep and Prime setting spray and just gonna spray in my entire face just to set the look. Equal tools and then just dab in with the setting spray. And I'm going in with my NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm just taking this mirror because your girl can't see. So I'm gonna do like a small wing eyeliner. This is how serious I am because I do have to not talk because I know I will mess up on my eyeliner. This is me being serious applying my eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. A little bit of that purple shade underneath my lash line and stand out a little bit. And with my Academic of Color Strobe and Glow highlighter palette silver highlighter shade right here I'm just going in with this just very gentle not too crazy like that going in with this side too then i plan in the tip of my nose my cupid spout area for lips, I am going in with my Kylie Cosmetic uh, Lip Liner in shade Bare. Line up my lips. And I want to go with like a very nude uh, lips. Uh, just because I don't want to go with anything too crazy on the lips. Since we have a lot going on with the eyeshadow. with my Ulta Beauty um, lipstick. This one is 224. And this one's more like a nude shade. As you can see, I use this shade a lot. It's like my favorite lipstick ever just because I'm into nude brown shades. It's like one of my favorites lip color. So I'm just applying it all over my lip. in it with my ColourPop uh, Moonchild lip gloss. Going in with my Double Decker um, Lashes Mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Um, I personally like to apply mascara just because for me it's so easy than lashes. I'm not going to apply any 
mascara and my bottom lashes i just want to keep it like this okay, guys so that is pretty much it for this video I really love how this makeup look turned out especially the eyeshadow i'm digging the purple pastel eyeshadow it's so beautiful very light very really it's great like for spring i really hope that you guys enjoy this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys